Hey team, Mark Zeese here, Bible Land Explorer. I trust all is well with you in the place where you are. The place where I am is just outside of the old city walls of Jerusalem. And I'm asking myself, what stories would these stones tell if they had a voice? So many stories. You know, one story that they might tell is the story that's found in the text of the Bible. And you know what? If many of us were called upon to tell that story, we might struggle. And that's because we need handles. It's such a large story. How do we manage? Well, I got just the thing. It's a tool that I used to give to my students in the classroom. Uh, it's not original with me. I stole it from somebody else who probably stole it from somebody else. But anyway, that's beside the point. Here's how the tool goes. Take a pencil. I want you to write this sentence down. You ready? Here it comes. Here's the sentence. Beep slowly. Jake carries cocoa. <laughs> I know it doesn't make any sense. But in order to make the tool work, what you do is you cross out all of the vowels, and that includes Y. All of the vowels cross out, they have no meaning. What you're left with is a string of consonants. And if we let the letters, those consonants, stand for words, we might be able to navigate the biblical story. Like this, beep. You can see a B and you can see a P. B stands for beginnings. It all begins at the beginning. God creates the heavens and the earth. A couple E's, you can cross those out. P stands for pater, or father. The patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. These are the guys that we read about in the rest of the book of Genesis. They're the founding fathers, if you will, of uh, the Hebrew faith. Beep slowly. S, S stands for slavery. The people of God go into slavery in Egypt, and there they labor for some 400 years, coming out under a very spectacular leader named Moses, and there they receive the law. S L O, you can cross that one out. W stands for wanderings. After receiving the law, they wander in the desert for some 40 years. You know how that was. Oh, miserable stuff. S L O W L, land. They receive land. After the wandering, they go into the land of Canaan, and God works with them to give them space. And then Y, you can cross that one out. Beep slowly. <laughs> See if I can get the tool to work. Jake, oh, that's an easy one. J and K, J stands for judges and K stands for kings. And these were the folks that ruled uh, when the people of God lived in the land. Beep slowly, Jake carries. This is the hard one. Let's see, we got a C. Ah, after the time of the kings, the people of God go into captivity. C, A, cross that out, R and R. After captivity, some of them return and some of them simply remember. Return, remember, I-E, cross out, and then you got an S, and that stands for silence. There's like 400 years between the testaments of silence. God does not reveal himself verbally in that period of time. Beep slowly, Jake carries, one more word to go, Coco, C-O-C-O-A. Cross out all the vowels, all you're left with are a couple of C's. First C stands for Christ, Gospels. Second C, C stands for church, and that's the rest of the New Testament. Yeah, the whole New Testament can be summarized that way, Christ and church. Because the, the New Testament is just, what, like 27 books altogether written in just one language? You know, we Old Testament people, we do that before breakfast. <laughs> Beep slowly. Jake carries cocoa. There you have it, the biblical story. I hope the stones were listening.